I'm going to do an exercise for Wright-Patterson Mahjong using the 2020 Green Book. This exercise is called Charleston Chain Reaction. The purpose is to practice identifying the strength in a hand and then choosing what to focus on with plan A and plan B and then using the same tiles play it out and compare results. It's a great way to test your instincts. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to pick a card to see which player we are and then we'll pick a card to see which player would be prevailing because this could come in handy if we decide to play a hand that requires a prevailing wind. We are going to be north and west is prevailing. Since we're north, I'll get 13 tiles and then I'll create a mock Charleston. North, one, two, four, eight in dots, two, three, seven in cra uh, bams, three, five, seven, eight, nine in cracks. If these were your tiles, what would be your plan A and what would be your plan B? I'm going to take a photo of these. If these were my tiles, I think I would play Heavenly Hopscotch. Two, four, eight. And then odds in two suits. We wouldn't need the eight crack, but that's our predominant suit. I think the other option would be to play cracks with honors. One suit and honors for plan B, because that's the predominant suit. So I would start by passing these. We're going to take a photo. We've got a nine crack pair now. Oh, here's a one. Now, I think it's one five, is it one three, five, seven, nine in two suits? One, three, five, seven, nine, and two suits. Two, four, six, eight, and a third. We have nines. One, nine. Terminals. One, two, three, four. Odds. Odds. One, three, seven. Two, four, eight. Eight, nine, nine. Yikes. That would be pretty risky to pass. Okay, plan B. What about little 1579 or cracks? Little 1579, one pung each of 1579 with a pair of either ones or nines. We wouldn't need the threes and we wouldn't need 248 at all, but we could leverage that pair and stick with maybe still cracks. Okay, well, let's give up on Heavenly Hopscotch. We got a five and a dragon. Here's a two, eight, eight. We could do big one, five, seven, nine, maybe. Big one, five, seven, nine would be one pung each of one, five, seven, nine with a pair of either ones or nines. 
Oh, I thought maybe you needed a dragon. We still have one, one suit and honors in there. I think what I would probably do is let the dragon go. I think I forgot to do a photo. Okay, I'll check it. I did forget to do a photo. Okay, all right. So now we have a five and a one. Oh wait, let's take a photo. <laughs> we could figure it out by process of elimination when I recreate it. Okay, so we have a nine, five, one, Okay, so this would be, let's see, four, 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 one. So we have three discards and a hand. Big one, five, seven, nine. We have, a, we have an extra one, pair nine, pair five. We need to pair up a seven. So we do have an extra seven, but we have options. We have an extra five, too. So technically, we have four discards. But we do have a pretty good hand with odds, big odds. Let's see if it would be better with just cracks. That's what we started with. So I think the Charleston is right by process of elimination. So let's see how we do with cracks and honors. Let's pass. Little number, big number. I guess another little number in a same suit, but a different Little number, big number. Okay, here we go. Dragon. We're keeping cracks. So let's do eight, five, and uh, maybe a three like that. We got a crack. So let's pass. Maybe four, how about that? Not bad. Four crack. So we have four discards and we have one suit and honors. And I really wouldn't pick a hand. We have a north and a red. We might be able to use the red with something here. I wouldn't pick a hand though, I would just gather. I think the results are equitable, but I think this would be an easier hand to play. One suit with honors, or even one suit only. Maybe even dragon gates. It's a little more, it has a little more flexibility because of the number of hands you can choose with one suit, or one suit with honors. So I think this might have been the better choice. If you would have done something differently with these tiles, write it in the comment section below. Mahjong is a very flexible game and you can do just about anything with a set of tiles with the right decisions at the right time. If you have a set of tiles at home, give this exercise a try and let me know if it helps you with your decision making. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.